Hi everybody, this is Han uh, from cmarketing.net. I'm here with Barry Broster. Uh, Barry is a marketing and sales director at Ataplan Tito Press. Barry, welcome. Hi, Han. How's it going? Uh, it's going very well with me and with you. Very good, thanks. Barry, the reason I called you is because Ataplan Tito Press is organizing a seminar and we have uh, added a, a link on the website and we'll come back to that. I will give the link later. Um, can you tell tell us uh, what was the reason to organize this particular seminar and can you tell us what the title is? Uh, the title, uh, Han, is uh, um, uh, Simplified English, uh, Why Content uh, Matters. Um, and it basically deals with uh, uh, one of the major problems in, uh, in technical documentation. Um, as, as CE Marketing.net, of course, you and uh, the visitors of your site know that uh, there's a very important link between uh, CE Marketing and technical documentation. Uh, for instance, the many European directives like the Machinery Directive demands uh, that technical documentation is provided together with the product. Um, but we see in practice as a uh, technical documentation uh, solution provider that uh, it's still regarded with a lot of manufacturers as a, uh, as a necessary evil. Yeah. Um, it has to be done in a cheap way. It has to be delivered fast. And people don't necessarily um, look at the content of, of, of a technical manual as being important. Um, however, um, there, of course, with the machinery uh, directive, there's uh, and with many machines for that matter, there's uh, there's the aspect of safety, um, meaning that users of manuals are actually going to look at them and and use these manuals, and uh, whether it's for uh, installation or how to use it or or for service uh, for that matter, maintenance. So the problem that we then see from a safety point of view is that if people find the information that they read and that they have to follow uh, to be ambiguous, not clear, uh, not consistent, then um, there's a potential for uh, liability. And um, that, of course, is something that you uh, need to uh, regard. Um, so that is one issue. The other issue is that a manual within the European Union, of course, has to be translated into multiple languages. Right which is, you know, you have all these EU safety directives that require you to translate your manual to the language of the country that you export your product to. And that, of course, can be quite costly. So uh, the use of uh, simplified English, as we call it, uh, the full name actually is simplified technical English, uh, not only uh, uh, deals with the safety aspect as it demands uh, clarity, so it's basically a way of writing that will result in content that is very clear and easy to understand by both native and non-English, uh, non-native English speakers. Uh, but that can also save uh, translation costs. As a matter of fact, up to thirty, sometimes forty percent per language. The standard itself, and I should call it actually a specification, derives from the aerospace and defense industry because um, safety, of course, is a very important uh, issue there. And what we do is we promote this standard to be used in all the other industries. So companies in the machinery, uh, equipment, uh, consumer electronics, et cetera, et cetera, um, that need to have a manual with their product should really seriously consider the use of uh, a simplified English if they have a translation need. And if there's a, uh, of course, a need to uh, to to deal with the safety issues, those are those are the, the there's there, there's other reasons to look at this as well, but those are really the main two uh, mm -hmm. the two main factors. What will you discuss during the seminar, and what are things that um, participants or attendees will will take from this uh, seminar? Well, I'm try what I will do is I will, uh, it's, it's, it's very much of an information, an, inf an informing uh, type of session, an educational type of session. So I will actually discuss uh, problem areas like safety and, and translation issues. Um, the, so I'll, I'll discuss the problem areas so that we can actually understand what the value of content actually is, other than a necessary evil that we have to provide in addition with uh, the products that we ship uh, all over the world. Um, and I'm going to discuss based on case studies because we've actually implemented uh, this uh, specification with uh, 
aerospace and defense companies, but with a lot of companies that had to export uh, and had to comply with CE, with the CE uh, uh, directives. Um, so I'll, I'll use uh, um, quite some case studies that uh, in, you know, during which I will explain what an implementation entails, uh, what it meant, how long it took, and of course, the um, eventually the actual benefits, like how much did they save on translations, um, what, what things were prevented. Uh, um, uh, how it's helping a company uh, increase their service business um, is, is an important one. Um, for instance, um, um, cunning cost uh, is one. Um, and on the service business side, um, it's, it's important that we provide uh, the, the, the correct and, and, and sufficient uh, support to, to uh, the users of our end products or field service engineers, for instance, who have to maintain the products and and the use of simplifying this is very important there as well. So I'll, I'll use these case studies that we've done over the last 10 years to inform people what it is all about, which problems it helps solving, and uh, and the additional benefits that come with it, like quality increase um, and, and, and significant cost savings. Is this seminar intended only for the, let's say, the larger corporations that make a lot of technical documentation or is it also um, suitable for small medium-sized companies yeah it's it's suitable for all of them um, um, anyone who requires a manual for their product whether it's a small uh, an SME or, or a large enterprise is is something is someone that needs to look at this I'll discuss it from a corporate view if you are up in uh, in management but I'll also discuss it that what are the implementations uh, if you are actually a technical writer so I'll, I'll, I'll deal with all levels uh, within the organization sounds very interesting I'm sure that uh, I'm going to register uh, and um, the, the viewers can register also now they can do it uh, I'll make it very easy we uh, made a short uh, short code a link to the uh, information about the uh, the seminar and the um, the code is uh, cemarking.net forward slash p3xf. So p3xf. Um, Barry, thank you very much for um, jumping on this call with me on such uh, short notice. Uh, I know you uh, you traveled, and uh, so you must be very tired. But uh, thank you very much. Good luck with the seminar, and uh, I hope to to uh, to see you thank soon you. back uh, back on cmarking.net explaining our viewers more about technical documentation and all the uh, issues related to that. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Han. Bye-bye.